Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty and the channel's name of course is Speculative Magpie. And we are here to do a book review today. And that book review is for Gord Rolo's Crimson. Now, I read this for um, Purgatory Falls Halloweenathon and um, have some thoughts on it. First, let me read you the, the synopsis of the book, okay? The small town of Dunville is no stranger to fear. Evil has stopped its dark streets once before, 20 years ago, leaving in its wake a legacy of blood and madness. These days, no one in the town likes to talk about it much. Some folks deny it ever happened. But four boyhood friends are about to discover the truth though no one will believe them. Their parents think they've been listening to too many scary stories, but what the boys have released from an icy well is no legend. It's very real indeed, and it will soon terrify Dunville to its very core. Unspeakable horror is running free, and the nightmares of the past are about to begin again. All right, well, I enjoyed the book. It was a fast read for me. I read it in a couple days at work. Um, but I have some problems with it. It's like the author took like all these ideas, put them in a bag, shook the bag really hard, and then like just tossed them at the page and saw what stuck. Because there is a lot that goes on in this book. A whole bunch. Um, starts off kind of like it. In fact, one of the taglines is, Crimson is it's superior in every possible way. Not even close. Um, it's about four boys, and there's a monster. And they kind of set the monster free on the town um, and a whole bunch of bad stuff happens um, it was kind of like it as in four young men have to try to stop this monster um, but then it just got weird y'all like 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 really weird it was like I know I compare a lot of books to other things, and I can't help it. It's just the way my mind kind of works. But it was like It, Lord of the Rings, Hellraiser, and like the that Denzel Washington movie, The Fallen, or The Possessed or something. It was about, you know, like, this is the story about how I almost died kind of thing. Um, there might be some spoilers in here because... I just got to talk about it. All right. Now, the first half of the book where they're like like little boys about like 12 or 13 and they're fighting this monster, that was awesome. Um, Gord Rolo describes everything so well. He is an amazing writer, but it was just, there was just so much going on. And then like it kind of moves up until they're in their like teens and then one of the boys gets sent to prison for murders that the monster did but he didn't really do it and then there's all this whole thing where the monster is still talking to the boy in the prison and then like 20 years later you move up and it's time for um the boy to you know be executed and then you find out the backstory of the monster and the monster turns out as some like hell demon that his job in hell which hell is a city a walled city um, was to make jewelry for Satan so he made like one ring of power and it's just so much going on and all this like the city in hell kind of like threw me out of the whole whole book like I would have enjoyed a story about you know the city 
the hell was separately you know and the monster's backstory seemed really interesting but it was like somebody just kept adding stuff he's like you, you, you know what it'd be cool is if we did this and really it was just convoluted and the ending was cool I mean I like the ending the scenes in here were pretty horrific. A lot of people die in here, and they die in a lot of nasty ways. But, I mean, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I mean, I'm reading The Jigsaw Man, and I'm thoroughly enjoying that one. I just think this book missed the mark. I'd probably give it a 2.5 or a 3 simply because it's so well written. But there's just too much going in here for the length of the book. Um, I don't think it touches Stephen King's It in any stretch of the means. Um, that's just it. This was not a bad read, not a good read. Um, if I wasn't so obsessed with reading The Jigsaw Man, after I read this, I probably, probably would not have picked up another Gord Rollo book. So, yeah, that's my um, review. 2.5, three stars, not a bad book, not a good book, but it was kind of interesting, had some cool parts. So, yeah, talk to you about my next book when I finish that. So, talk to you later about books and things. Bye.